Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. I know I sure am. Today we're going to take a look at this Laguna LA300 electric guitar. So now that you've heard the sound demo, let's talk about the specs and features of this guitar. So this guitar comes equipped with a swamp bash body, as you can see, it looks very, very nice. You got a uh, slightly carved top with a flame maple veneer on the top. You got Alnico pickups, one humbucker, two uh, single coils. You got one volume, one tone pot, five-way precision selector switch. You've got push pull. Um, you got a Wilkinson BS50 tremolo, which is one of my favorite uh, strat style tremolos as well. 22 medium jumbo frets on a rosewood fretboard. It's a Canadian hard rock maple neck. Abalone inlays, you got a graphite nut, you got roller string trees and locking tuners. So very well equipped guitar for not a lot of money back when it was sold new. But let's talk about this brand. So Laguna is basically one of the house brands that uh, Guitar Center has owned over the years. Um, I believe their tenure was around late, late 2000s to early 2010s. And they were then, um, I guess, discontinued and swapped out by the Mitchell brand, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I really like these. It's a shame that they don't make them anymore because I really like these. I think they're better than the Mitchell brand, although there is one thing that the Mitchell has over this, but I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but yeah, there were a couple models. You had an LE100, which was a basic beginner's model. There's the LE200, which was a double humbucker with a fixed bridge. There is this model, the LE. 300 and then there's the LE 400 which was a um, double humbucker with a Floyd Rose trim and then their um, higher end model was the LE 924 which was basically Greg Howe's signature model for a okay so let's start with the uh, bridge humbucker and what I want to do is I want to play the same thing the pickup in full and then split <laughs> So now let's do some uh, drive tones.
All right, so you heard the demo, you heard the clean tones, you heard the dirty tones, so let's talk about, um, is this a good purchase out in the used market? Absolutely, they are very, very highly equipped guitars. I mean, you got a lot of great features. You get a carved top, you get a guitar that looks nice, you get a really good tremolo, um, and the same can be said for the other models they have. They have really good components for their price points. Um, lots of uh, sound options there. Um, you got a neck, uh, which is kind of a, a C shape, but it feels very comfortable. Um, you got locking tuners. It's a very well equipped guitar, and these guitars can be found in the used market for somewhere between $170 to $250, give or take. Um, sometimes even slightly less than that, and they are a bargain at that price. I mean, they are very good. My only, I guess, my only thing on these versus like the Mitchells, Mitchells are also very nice, affordable guitars. What they do well is they have a lot more model variety. Whereas all the Lagunas were all basically super strats from the basic model to the Greg Howe model. They were all basically, <laughs> they look like this. Um, it would have been really great to see like single cut or T style models, but we'll never know since the brand no longer exists. Um, but they are definitely one of the best purchases that you could make in the used market for not a lot of money. That's it for the video. I really like this instrument. Uh, I hope you uh, liked the video as well. If you did, comment, like, subscribe, do all that basic YouTube gas, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.